the 36 states of the Federation have filed a lawsuit against President Muhammad Buhari's administration seeking to hold a new executive order that strips the federal government of the responsibility of funding courts. The president had in May signed an executive order number 0010 of 2020 to enforce the financial autonomy of the legislature and the judiciary at the state level. But the state said the lawsuit that the federal government is forcing is responsibility of funding both the capital and the recurrent expenditures of the state high courts, Sharia Court of Appeal, and the customary Court of Appeal on the state government. The lawsuits filed at the Supreme Court of Abuja takes aim at what nine senior advocates of Nigeria and six lawyers led by a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Augustine Ale, called the federal government's unlawful action to escape being responsible for funding the courts. And joining us live to discuss the lawsuit by 36 state governors against President Muhammad Buhari is Abbas Idiong, a legal practitioner in OU. Thank you so much, Mr. Idiong, for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. Fantastic. So please break it down for us. Why is responsibility for funding the courts such an issue to necessitate court action by state governments? Well, historically, we've had um, uh, a lack of responsibility on the part of state governors to the extent that uh, a constitutional provision for the funding of courts has been breached completely and totally by state governors. Um, state governors are very interested in controlling all resources that accrue to their state. And for that reason, uh, we have a, an aberration where local government funds and uh, judiciary funds are considered as part of the legal uh, accrual to a state governor's, uh, what, what is called a consolidated revenue fund of the state. Uh, which is which is which governors apply uh, according to their whims and caprices and um, what this government has done the government of President uh, Muhammad Buhari is to give teeth to a constitutional provision which mandates the funding of judiciaries uh, state judiciaries and um, state legislative houses of assembly. Uh, from the consolidated revenue fund of the state. And if that is not applied, then the accountant general is empowered to uh, deduct from source, as it were, and send this fund straight uh, to these uh, heads of courts or heads of uh, the state houses of assembly as required. And do you expect anything from the lawsuits that's seeking to hold Buhari's new executive order on the matter? I, I sympathize with the governors. You know, these are very rich men. Uh, they are not used to losing uh, their money, as they would put it. But um, I think it's an act of desperation because uh, what the uh, 36 states are asking the Supreme Court to do, <laughs> basically, is to... Because this is the federal judiciary, is to say that... Um, uh, the federal government has abdicated its responsibility to fund the judiciary, and they have, the federal government has pushed that responsibility on the state. Therefore, the federal government should be compelled to refund uh, monies that have been expended, um, capital and recurrent expenditure by the state since May 2009. I, I don't see that going very far, and I, I respectfully disagree with the governors, because the governors also fund the police, and that hasn't come up for debate. Uh, it would be a bit, uh, it would be stretching it to ask for a refund of the money used to, as it were, improve the delivery of justice in their respective communities. So I don't see the Supreme Court uh, agreeing with them on this point. Mm. But on the other hand, the lawyers for the state governments say the executive order is unlawful. But the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, who supports the order earlier said it was constitutional. So what's your stance on this varying view? Well, executive orders are quite controversial, um, especially because executive orders uh, kind of usurp the uh, inherent powers of 
the legislature to make laws. Uh, pretty much executive orders simply clarify an existing law. It doesn't create new obligations or responsibilities. So this executive order, which is derived from Section 5 of the Constitution, simply clarifies uh, Section 121 and Section 162, if I'm, if I'm correct, of the Constitution to the effect that um, the judiciary deserves all, the, the Constitution spells out uh, the fact that judiciary should receive its funds directly uh, and the National Judicial Council is empowered to receive and disburse those funds, uh, which the state governments have ignored largely for, for so long. And I believe why it was ignored was because there wasn't any modality for which this constitutional uh, provision could be implemented. Right now, that executive order has provided a framework for the implementation of uh, that constitutional provision. So. Um, I think that um, this executive order is constitutional and the Supreme Court will uh, confirm this when given the chance. And what would it mean if by some chance the states are able to argue their case enough to hold the new order? Um, it would be a likely scenario that uh, the states could argue and they could uh, they would be successful in their argument that the executive order was illegal. I guess this, the uh, attorney general can proceed against uh, um, the authorizing uh, entity in these states, uh, w which would of course be the uh, commissioners of finance or the accountant generals of these respective states to insist or to determine if uh, the funds that should be released to these uh, various arms of government if they have not been released and what should be the uh, penal consequence of that action. I believe that there are other options available to the Attorney General to exercise this uh, power. But you know, I, I, must, I must make this clear. Um, we, we strip away the legalese. This is simple. Um, this is about funds that should accrue to the judiciary, which the state government have refused to give to the judiciary directly because and the state houses of assembly directly because they because of the need to control these arms of government. So at the end of it all, uh, I think this law is desirable, and all well-meaning Nigerians, inclusive of the government, should do everything to support the uh, coming into the reality of this particular executive uh, order. And thank you so much for your thoughts, Mr. Idiong. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.